How's it going everybody? It's Newcastle Ninja here and I have for you today what I'm very excited to show you and this is from Tucson. This is the Tucson TS-292. It is a titanium handled frame lock flipper and it is in a satin 14C28N steel and it is really really a nice one. It's got to be probably one of my favorites out of the Tucson line that I've had in a long time that I've come across and it was kind of a sleeper I saw it there on White Mountain Knives just cruising through there and and I didn't see any videos for it so it was a pretty good deal at the time it may be currently sold out but it is really nice overall we're looking at 8.46 inches close length 4.92 inches blade length is 3.74 inches and look at that sweet sweet belly of that blade and it's kind of got like a reverse worn uh, reverse tonto kind of worn cliff cut down there it's really nice and the jimping is really nice too it's really nice milling that goes all the way around and deep you really feel it good on the thumb and it's really a nice one and, uh, yeah, the thickness of that blade is 0 0.146 inches, and the weight on this is 4.34 ounces, and it is a beauty. The milling on this is just amazing, and what I really like for right here is that I'm able to comfortably get the two fingers in there, and when I come down right here... The fingers place perfectly on the milling that's been done right here on the handle. And we have the titanium clip, which is supported by two screws. And it's really comfortable. It's very, very comfortable, and it's one heck of a slicing blade. Extremely sharp. Hair popping, like, better than most other knives um, Tucson really knows how to put an edge on their blades, I gotta say. But uh, let's get a closer look at this here. It's just beautiful. Yeah, I love that blade on there. And it's got a considerable uh, strength of thickness on the blade that goes all the way through into the tip. And it is amazing to cut with. And it feels good forward and even reverse grip because these two fingers here fit very comfortably right there in that divot. They do have a lanyard here that goes outside of the frame. And uh, yeah, this is a beauty. So here it is, a little closer look. And I don't know if this is the serial number of... How many have been made or what, but it is really nice. And they do a great job on 14C28N. This uh, titanium clip is just springy enough to get in and out of the pockets very nicely. And that's a pretty sweet lock up there for a frame lock, I gotta say. It is a little bit early, but being a frame lock, I know it's pretty secured. You've got adequate access to getting to that liner. I preferably like to go from this side and just go ahead and push that down. And it's a, uh, yeah, it's got the ceramic ball bearing action on it. And when I initially got it, I thought instantly of another knife that it reminded me of, and that is the Rake P135SF, and that's a steel frame. It's a 420 steel frame. This has very many uh, similarities when you look at it. And it is, I would say, roughly about the same. Um, overall, this one is 8.46 inches. This one's 8.43. Blade is 3.62 on this rake. And this was, of course, 3.74. However... With this being titanium, as opposed to being stainless steel, um, the weight on this, again, is 4.34 ounces, whereas this one is 
5.89. And uh, yeah, if you were wondering about this here, I sometimes like to use the uh, grip tape for some of my uh, flat, smooth, uh, handled knives. It's just a very easy remedy that just I can't recommend enough. So yeah, there's the similarities of that one. And they do both have a similar kind of blade shape, or as you can see, the belly is just about the same. And it's a, uh, it's pretty nice. I do like this one a lot. But this here, it's a, uh, yeah, it's definitely a new favorite. And I just love the jimping on that. Jimping on this one's pretty decent too. A little more finer, and but, yep, I'm not going to take away from this knife here. It's a great knife. And I recommend it. But this Tucson, if you have the opportunity of getting it, I doubt you'll be disappointed. It's just so comfortable. And has that nice thwack when you open it. And yeah, it's a, it's beauty. And what I particularly like also, well, aside from being very centered, which they like to do, this, uh, this flipper tab is really sweet. Because it's got just enough jimping on there and it's out enough and it just opens up with no problem. It reminds me very much of the uh, of the ZT0562, the way the uh, clip is on that, where, or I'm sorry, the thumb stud is on that. It's just out enough to really just get that nice light switch action there and for some size uh, some size comparisons on this here um, also here is the uh, PM2 but with the uh, PM2 and the blade going out about the same you definitely get more blade here with the Tucson and uh, but you get a this is a great knife itself. Um, another comparable option here would be the bag lighter, or big bag lighter. Yep, it's a full size knife. It's it's a really nice one. Um, yep, and one last comparison here is the Rat One. And so Rat One might be just a slight bigger. But those are the size comparisons. Let you get one more look at this sweet thing here. And uh, they really do put a beautiful satin finish on that knife. It's just, I love the edge that Tucson puts on this. And I've just really fallen for this knife. It's so nice. So, yeah, it's, it's almost kind of got like a, some, like a tumbled, like, finish here it's kind of like almost two-tonish of a stainless or of a, the steel and uh, here's some more of the milling of that handle you can see the fine lines there and it's really nice and they do a great job slight milling in there and there you go that is it so that is the Tucson TS-292. I'm New Kelsey Ninja. Hope you liked the video. Feel free to give a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.